Okay, so now let's start talking about auxiliary sends and returns. So we talked about inserts, and we worked with some of the processors that are done with inserts. But now let's talk about these sends right here. Okay, now what a send is, is it's taking a portion of the signal and sending it off to a processor. So the benefit of that is, number one, you get to mix the unprocessed and processed signal together. So you get, still get to keep that unprocessed signal. And number two, you can send multiple tracks to the same processor. So we can use one reverb processor and use it on all of the tracks in our session, which is good because reverb and delay can really be um, heavy on your processing. Okay, so here's where we do this in our sends right here which is below our inserts. And if you don't see that, for instance, you need to go down to this little drop-down menu here and make sure that sends A through E are selected. You'll notice we have 10 inserts and 10 sends. I'm just showing the first five of each, which is what I use most of the time. Um, you'll see some way, sometimes it's nice to use that send F through J. But right now, you'll notice that my sends A through E are only showing A. If I hold the command key and click on here, I can tell to show the assignments and that, that might be what yours looks like. And this is going to do the same kind of thing as the inserts. If I hold command or, or control on a Windows computer and click on the little dot, it's only going to show me that assignment. So I can go to each one. And you'll see in just a second why I do this. It looks a little different. Um, it's a little easier to manage for me. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this nice little feature in Pro Tools, which is is a, an assignment feature in order to assign our, our sends outputs all at the same time. So first of all, I'm going to select all of my tracks. I don't really need to put any reverb on my click. Okay, so I'm going to assign all those tracks. I'm going to go to the furthest right track, and I'm going to hold Option and Shift, or Alt and Shift on a Windows computer. Okay, hold Option and Shift, and click on the assignment here. And instead of going to the output of the bus, the bus is where you usually go because you're going to send the signal to internally somewhere else in Pro Tools. We're going to go to New Track. And what's going to happen is it's going to create a stereo auxiliary input for us. Now we could do it to an instrument track or audio track or something like that, but for right now we're doing reverb, so we want to go to an aux input. This is going to be our auxiliary return. We're setting up our send right now, and we'll do the return. We don't we won't worry about the time base, and the name we'll call this verb one. Okay. So the beautiful thing about this is it is going to set up all our sends and call them all output verb one. And then it's going to set up an auxiliary track called verb1, and the input of that track is verb1. Okay, So what's happening is when I increase the level on one of these tracks, I'm sending a portion of this signal over to this track right here. Okay, And then what I'm going to do is on this track, my auxiliary return track, I'm going to put a reverb processor there. So we'll go ahead and use dverb, the standard one here and we'll just go to a room and we have different sizes and we have different controls but the key here is we want this to be a hundred percent wet and the reason why is because what this means is is we're gonna hear only the reverb if we send it over here to zero we're gonna hear only the unprocessed okay if you put this on an individual track as an insert you could balance the unprocessed versus processed with this control if you're setting up this way with an auxiliary send and return you want this to be 100% because you're going to mix your processed and unprocessed by how much you send over to that track. So we're going to do one more thing to this auxiliary return. We're going to hold Command and click on the S for the solo button, and we're going to solo safe the track. Okay. Once again, Command on, Win on Mac and Control on Windows. Okay. What that does is it makes it so that if I solo a track, you see how these other ones are soft muted? it doesn't soft mute the verb track. So I'll go ahead and go to the, the verb here, the, the, re, the rhythm guitar, and send it to the verb. Okay, So you'll see that 
if we didn't solo save this, we'd have to go over and solo it in addition to soloing that. So if I hit, you can start hearing that. Okay, and the nice thing is I've got a stereo control here. So I can actually send my reverb to the right side and my guitar is on my left side. Okay. Okay, so we can continue by adding more reverb to other elements of our mix. And so not only can I have it on this track, but I can go to my piano here and I can add reverb there as well. Okay, so you see now I have this same track, this one track with D-verb on it, and I have multiple tracks being sent there to that one processor using that same reverb. So we take these off. So you create some nice ambience there. And obviously, you're going to have to, you know, adjust it. So you saw how I kind of turned up the reverb a little bit, turned up that send. So there was more reverb so I could hear it. And then I kind of dialed it back a little bit. And you'll, you'll realize that subtlety is really the key to mixing. So if we get kind of subtle amounts of reverb on these tracks, we can just give it some kind of air and space around it. Okay? Depending on the type of music, you might want something to sound really dry and in your face or really ambient, okay? So there's some reverb there with an auxiliary send and return. And you can see how by setting that up, we have been able to show how to how this how the whole sends, the auxiliary sends and returns work. Okay? And then once again, if we kind of rewind for a second, we hit command, hold command and click on that and show the assignments. You can see that if you were seeing the assignments, you'd have to simply click on each instance here, and then you would be able to adjust it like that. So that's why I like to see the individual views, holding command and doing that. And you can also go to the view menu and go to sends A through E, show send A. Okay. So if you forget that command A thing, then uh, command click thing then you can do that, okay? And and that shows it quite nicely there. So when I'm mixing, I, I will usually use this for one of the reverbs. And then the nice thing is, is you can go and add sends F through J and just see send F and do the same thing and maybe have two reverbs for your session and have them all visible, okay? So there's really quite a bit of flexibility there with it. Okay, so that's how we use auxiliary sends and returns. That's with reverb. We can also do an auxiliary send and return with with delay as well. So we're going to take and change this guitar track right here. And we're going to do a new track again and get rid of the verb one that was on there. And we're going to make it a delay. Okay, so same thing happened. It sent it over to this track. But this time, instead of a reverb, we're going to do a delay. Okay, we'll do the medium delay stereo, and we'll we'll keep the mix to 100%, same kind of thing, but we're going to adjust our delay time here. And we have some cool tools we can use. We can adjust, we can kind of pick our delay based on the tempo of our session, and so we can say if we want to be 16th notes or 8th notes, we'll just put one side 16th notes and one side 8th notes. We'll do the same thing again, command, click to solo safe it and let's go ahead and jump up in our session to where the guitar is okay we can pull that down a little bit
Okay, and obviously there's a bunch of other things we can, can can adjust on here, and I would just suggest that you start playing around with it, adjusting your delay time. The depth and rate is going to make it sound more like chorus, and feedback is how many repeats you have. So as you increase the feedback, you have more than one repeat. It just kind of sends it back in itself, and it keeps delaying over and over again. Okay, <clears throat> so there we go. There's our two main processors that we use with auxiliary sends and returns, delay and reverb, and some examples on how to use them in our mix. And we'll finish up our mix in just a minute.